Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app called Flashlight. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's just called Flashlight because it is a flashlight and it's by Asus of all people. Um, I would, it, I'd be hard pressed to ever recommend Asus hardware. I had an Asus tablet just a few years ago and I was not very impressed with it. Um, but they make some cool apps and I guess they've decided to make their apps available for anyone using any Android device and I was looking for a really good flashlight app. I went through a bunch of different ones and I found the flashlight app by Asus and it's an awesome app. So uh, let's jump on my phone. I'm just going to show you, you know, it's a flashlight app so there's not a whole lot to show but I'm just going to show you how it's set up. I think the user interface is probably what most attracted me to it um, and it has all the features that you'd want in a really good flashlight app. So let's jump on my phone and see how it works. Here we are on my phone and you see flashlight app. Again, it's named appropriately because it is a flashlight. And you see as soon as you turn it on, the LED on my phone is on, the flashlight is on. Uh, big on off button right in the center, so easy to tap. That's one reason I like it. Uh, but that's not it. Also has all the other features I would want, like what you may ask. Well, this is if what it is on by default, which is flashlight, but you can also turn it on flashing. And the three dots means strobe, basically. You turn it to one dot, then it flashes slowly. Two dots, it's going to flash a little bit faster. And then three dots, it's going to strobe. But again, put it on... Uh, back on flashlight for f solid and then you also have SOS mode so this is going to flash to send an SOS uh, in case you don't know uh, how to do that and I don't so uh, that's built in in case hopefully no one ever needs that but if you do it's there which is cool again go back to steady and it's back on steady off on uh, if we go into settings there's not many settings but animation, show the animation when the LED is on. So you saw the, uh, the little button in the center had an animation. If you uncheck that, it'll be off. Automatic off. So you can schedule it so that if you turn the LED on, it automatically turns off after a certain amount of time. Again, you may never need that, but it's a cool feature if you want to use that. I have it set to never. I don't use that. Um, and power management. So you can have it so that the LED or the flashlight won't work if your power is less than a certain amount. Um, and I put only if the power is less than 5% because I don't really care what level my power is. If I want to use my LED, I'm going to use my LED. But, you know, if you're someone who maybe forgets to pay attention to your power, then you might want to set that a little bit higher. Um, uh, and you see, all this has been while it's on LED, but you can also switch to screen. So you switch to screen, you can have lower or brighter, and then you can have different colors depending on what you want the color to be. And uh, again, you can still have the, uh, the flashing or the SOS, and so when you put that, you can see it does your whole screen. So it really lights up. Now let's put it back on steady, and let's put it back on white, and you see, now you have the front screen as a flashlight. Um, and that's why I like this, because it's so simple, but very cool, you know, if you want it to be has something to have a blue tone to it, then you can have it bright as blue. And again, you can raise or lower how bright it is. I don't know why you would ever want to do a not very bright, um, but anyway, it's there. And uh, you could, you know, you could put it on SOS, and then your screen's gonna SOS, so that might be more noticeable, you know, in certain situations than in a flashing LED. So, all the features that are available to you with the LED are also available using the screen. And yeah, very cool interface. That's, you know, that's it. It does what it does. Uh, it does it very well. And uh, in my opinion, the best flashlight app on the market, uh, unusually made by Asus. Uh, but they did a really good job on this app. So if you're in the market for one, it's definitely one I'd recommend. So there you go. Like I said, it's a flashlight app. It does exactly what you would expect a flashlight app to do, but it has all the different features that you might be looking for. Be able to use your screen as a flashlight or the LED, uh, the SOS message. Um, it's very simple, very intuitive. Um, 
has the settings you'd want, and it works great. And it's a really small app, and it's by Asus. It's available on Google Play. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who maybe is looking for a good flashlight app and you want to share this video with them, you can do that. All those fun ways are down there. Just click the right button to do that. Jump over and check out all my Android app reviews. I only review apps that I think uh, make your phone better and enhance the functionality of your phone. So you might want to check out all my Android app reviews. Also, if you want to take your phone to the next level, my Tasker tutorial list. Uh, you have to be ready to dive in with Tasker. It's not easy, but if you master it, it, you can take your phone and turn it into just the most amazing machine ever. And then check out my product reviews. I do all kinds of products, uh, household products, dog products, but also a lot of gadgets and electronics, Android phone and tablet accessories that you might be interested in as well. So check that out. Anyway, that is it until next time. This is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only gonna be as good as you make it.